There are a lot of things happening in Northside, so here's a quick roundup from the last few weeks. The Northside Education Foundation Prize Patrol traveled the district, awarding 108 grants to employees worth over $98,000. Steubing Elementary School won eight grants of up to $1,000 each, which is more than any other school or department during this round of grants. Teachers were surprised with a visit from Appaletti in their classrooms, offices, and even the cafeteria. The grant monies awarded at Steubing will fund guided reading and math programs, technology, and other campus activities. NEF is, is awesome. I tell everybody who has not written a grant to write them because it's, it's so great that they give us the money to do the things because right now with the budget crunch, and everything that we, you know, personally that we don't have the money to go out and buy these things and to be able to have this provided to us by, the, by NEF is amazing. The last round of NEF grants for this school year will include $10,000 team grants. Applications for team grants are due February 16th and applications for $1,000 classroom innovation grants are due March 1st. Both will be awarded in April. Find more information at foundation.nisd.net. The Girl Scouts of Southwest Texas and AT&T have partnered to offer a STEM learning experience for teen girls. STEM stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Mathematics, career areas that many minority students and young women have been turning away from. The Imagine Your STEM Future program will serve 6,000 girls nationwide, and Holmes High School is the first of 10 high schools in Southwest Texas to organize Imagine Clubs. Students will participate in various STEM projects, activities, and experiments to pique their interest in these academic areas. Next, congratulations to Nancy Ramos, a science teacher at Health Careers High School. She is one of 10 semi-finalists for the Shell Science Teaching Award from the National Science Teachers Association. A committee of judges will pick three finalists and visit each of their classrooms before announcing the award winner, who will receive $10,000. Nancy has been a biology teacher for 34 years. Warren High School graduates and champion fencers Courtney and Kelly Hurley recently returned to their alma mater to speak to PE and health students. They demonstrated basic fencing skills and talked about their rigorous training schedules and how they both hope to qualify for the 2012 Olympics. Courtney is hoping to make her first Olympic appearance in London this summer while Kelly hopes to make her second. She competed in the 2008 Games in Beijing. What's driving me to get back there is uh, the last Olympics, only one could qualify, so I was the only one that qualified. But this year, uh, this Olympics, a team could qualify, and that gives an opportunity for my sister and I to fence on the same team at the Olympics. And that, that is a goal of mine, to win a medal with my sister. I mean, that's something I want to do. The sisters placed first and second in the Pan American Games last October. They rose to the top of the fencing world while students at Warren completing their schoolwork while traveling the globe for competition. With the final tallies now in, we can tell you that Team Northside raised over $90,000 for last fall's Step Out Walk to Stop Diabetes thanks to the efforts of 121 teams and 2,530 participants. Two trophies were awarded during a recent principals meeting. The largest team trophy went to the Lewis Leopards of Lewis Elementary School with 112 walkers. The largest donation trophy went to the Striding Stingrays at Bale Middle School, who raised $3,679. Staff, students, parents, and community members can now send text messages to SafeLine, the district's anonymous tip line. To report a safety concern, send a text message to safe at nisd.net or call 397-7233. Here's a PSA created for elementary students and their families to highlight SafeLine. If you hear something, or see something, then, then say, say something. something. It takes all of us to keep our school safe. Call Northside Safeline 397-7233 or send a text message to save at nisd.net. Safeline is an automated system that is monitored and managed by the Northside ISD Police Department. It is operated seven days a week, 24 hours a day, and addresses reports of crime, violations of district policy, and safety concerns. That's all for now. See you next time for more Northside Video Moments.